Hello everyone, Argzy here. Welcome back to Medicine Creek. We've skipped forward a few days from spring when we were planting our crops and getting them all in the ground. We're now into early summer and our crops are all germinated and we'll go have a look at those very soon. Uh, but along with those crops, we now have some weeds which we need to take care of. Hence, obviously, having a spray trailer here in front of us. So we'll be getting the trident out in just a minute. Uh, but first, I just thought we'd have a look here at the spray trailer we're using. This is Perma Modding's uh, Wilson Step Deck trailer. This is the one that has the mixing function on it. So if we just come over here using Global Companies, you can see we have our water in there already. We need to put the Roundup in and the trailer will mix that and give us some herbicide. Fantastic mod, uh, just a nice little added level of realism. Uh, is manure system compatible? And if you want to get it, Permas has released that on his Facebook page. So I'll leave a link down below uh, and you can go and find it there. But uh, first things first, before we get the sprayer out, we do want to get the Roundup over here. So we've had that delivered already by the Culp. You'll notice that the uh, totes that we had sitting here, the Pro Box seed boxes that we had here, they've all gone, as have the ones that are on the trailer that were empty. Uh, and we still have boxes of seed. They took most of it back, we did get a bit of a refund but we have had to pay for our Roundup as well which is sitting there, 1000 litres of Roundup sitting on the front of the tally handler. So we'll get this backed out and take it over to the spray trailer and show you how that all goes in. Very very straightforward. This needs to be put in the right spot, basically a trigger next to the edge of the truck and it will disappear. I think, there we go. I believe the capacity for this was a thousand litres which is one full tote and if we have a look next to it there we can see that we have full inputs and water. Now I'm just going to bring up the global company's menu there you can see our grain dryer and here is the trailer. We just open this up and have a look at it we need to start that up it was not set to auto start. So we should see that this will start mixing and we will end up with some herbicide. We see the capacity of the herbicide that's mixed basically matches how much water we put in. So we'll leave that running for a little bit, we may have to uh, skip time for a touch just to get enough herbicide we can fill the uh, sprayer up with, but oh there we go, actually we've already got 3,333 litres with very little inputs in the roundup too if you just see the uh, mix rate there, so that roundup is going to go a long way. We'll just get the tally handler put away and then we'll go and grab the trident out. So we've got the trident here out of the shed and we've just pulled up beside the trailer. I think we're in the fill trigger here so we'll just go to refill. You can see we've got uh, 3,250 gallons so the mix is actually mixed up even more since uh, we looked at it only a couple of minutes ago. So we'll just uh, start filling there and see how much this will take. I'm not sure if the actual capacity of this sprayer must be close to about 1,400 gallons by the looks of things. There we go, a pretty good guess on that 50% uh, mark. So we are now full, if I just back up here out of the way we'll just have a quick look on how much more herbicide we still have sitting in here. Uh, there we go, so we've still got 7,000 litres which is uh, more than enough. We've used up all our water though, so uh, we have taken half of that. But like I said, that should, I hope, be enough to do these first three fields. So we'll head up there. Uh, we'll get those ones done and then I think we'll come back down, load onto the truck and head down to the other fields uh, which are a bit further away. Obviously not too far up this way to drive to the fields but the ones on the other side are uh, probably best to take the sprayer on the back of the truck seeing we have the uh, cradle to do that with. We'll pull into field 26 here and we will start off in this one. I'm just trying to think where the best place to start is. In fact we might head over and get unfolded and start going around the field this way. Uh, but as you can see our soybeans are germinated. They are all looking nice and healthy. Uh, and there's not too many weeds out here in the fields. Uh, just a few patches here and there. In fact I can't see any in the immediate vicinity of this field but I do know there is some over the other side. Uh, but to stop any more 
germinating uh, as the crops grow we will spread the herbicide across the entire field uh, and that should mean when we come to harvest time we won't have any weeds. So we'll get the boom unfolded here. I have to uh, zoom out a little bit more to be able to get the whole boom in the shot. It is a uh, this is a massive, massive boom. Probably almost looking at the size of the fields and the shape of them. Probably just a little bit, a little bit bigger than what we need. So with the boom all unfolded, let's get this turned on, and uh, we will start making a run around the field. I'm just looking at our application rate. I might just turn that down a little bit and uh, make sure we're not going to go through this too quickly because obviously we don't have a huge amount of weeds out here we don't need to drench the entire field with herbicide uh, but just enough to make sure we kill what's here and suppress any of the future weeds that might try and germinate so we go we have made a little bit of a tweak still going down reasonably quickly we may just uh, play around with that a little bit on the fly but we do at least have a very uh, very large spread on the boom so even if we uh, go through it we are covering quite a decent amount of area while we do and obviously a little bit of precision on those corners to make sure we don't overlap and don't throw one of the booms out into the trees so there's a few more patches of weeds up here on the top of the hill you'll see just as we go through those the weeds should all die and disappear which is uh which is good good to see that we are uh, doing what we need to get done so i think for uh this field we'll just get it done i'm not going to show you too much more of it it might be a little bit jarring to try and do this in a time lapse or uh capture any other shots we'll wait till we get to one of the bigger fields where it's just a little bit easier to grab that but uh we're just going to carry on here we've already used a quarter of our herbicide though so i am starting to think we may need to get a bit more mixed up in the trailer and possibly even bring the trailer up to the other fields because i'm not sure if we're going to have enough to do all of these well we certainly will not if we've already used a quarter of it and we won't have covered a quarter of the area yet of course we are measuring our area we've done uh, 13 acres already so quite a good chunk of this field i think from memory this was about a 23 or 24 acre field so uh already probably halfway through it having not even finished one lap of the headlands would have also been nice to have sprayer section control uh, but i know that this uh, mod is not enabled with that it is one of the plans that i thought serious modding had to uh, add in in a future release or future update so we'll have to keep an eye out for that we're just coming around here to where we started and uh, we will have the first headland pass done so we'll just head over into here and get the body of the field finished off and move down to the next one it's all finished in this field we're just going to get the boom folded up 22.32 acres which uh, pretty much correlates with what we had planted i think we'd had about 22.45 acres so there's a very small patch somewhere i must have not quite got but we have used 60% uh, of our herbicide in this tank so we've actually uh, got the guys one of the staff to take the truck down they filled it up with water and they've run it down to the next fields so we can fill up down there and uh, keep things moving efficiently so we head down here we'll go through into the soybean field at the rear and then we'll do the corn field uh, up here on the way out We'll just get turned in here and I think we'll see the truck just around the corner. There they are. Good spot just here to be able to fill up from. I think if we pull in about there we should be able to top up. Must still be mixing some because that was not a uh, full tank full that uh, we had before. But there we go, it's enough to get our 1400 gallons. And you can get topped up. So let's head down through here into the soybeans and carry on spraying in there. The rinse and repeat of last time as uh, most of these fields are going to be we are going to get the whole farm sprayed though i'm pretty confident that we're going to have time to do that in this episode uh, which is going to set us up quite nicely to probably advance time a little bit more the next time and possibly even make a start on our harvesting but here we are we're in here and 
in the right position to be able to make a start. So I think for this field, and before we go any further, I am just going to quickly reset our area calc. There we go, down to zero acres. Uh, I probably won't be able to add that back in what we've just done, but not to worry. We do know roughly what is in here already. So with that all sorted, let's crack into getting this field sprayed. It is a little bit larger and some good long straight runs. So I think I might throw this into a little bit of a time lapse and we will be back to you once it is all done. there is another 51 and a half acres all done that pretty much also matches up with what we planted it was 52.28 in this field but uh, I didn't reset the counter right at the start when we started so there was a little bit we did beforehand so probably pretty close to being the same amount sprayed as what was planted which is good to see we are chewing through the spray though uh, you would have seen we had to fill up again halfway through this field uh, hopefully we'll go back and fill up again now hopefully that will be enough to do the cornfield uh, this field is 36.25 acres planted uh, so we should go pretty close to being able to do it we'll just get back down here and, and get some more herbicide into the sprayer so all topped up again we're just going to reset our area once again there it is zero and then we will make a start here in the corn make sure we've got our booms clear we don't want to be clipping any trees as we head in here so I think that looks pretty good we'll make a start there and just head around on this field now we'll just uh, carry on and get this one done before it is time to pack up and road this down on the back of the trailer to the next field and we're just running down our last pass here in this cornfield and we're going to have pretty much the perfect amount of herbicide. Just going to make it to the end here and we will be all done. There we go. 38 gallons left, 2% of the tank. So that worked out really well and uh, we've got our just short of 36 acres in this field. So we will drive down here and look to get this loaded onto the back of the trailer uh, we do need to head back down to the yard and grab some more water just to make sure the tank is topped up and we can mix some more herbicide when we get down to the other fields so we will uh, go and get that sorted and carry on with the spraying it's a little bit repetitive uh, but it is what needs to be done on the farm and is going to be our last task before harvest so we've got the 
spray here loaded on the back of the trailer it was a little bit of an effort and it actually makes this truck look ridiculously small with it on there particularly with the jewels on the back uh, but there did seem to be a hidden collision somewhere between the cradle and the sprayer which made it very difficult to get it up on the ramps but we're here now so we're just going to gingerly make it back down here to the yard and uh, get some more water put into the sprayer and then we'll head over to the other fields and carry on with our spraying over there so we're all full of water now we will head back down to the other fields i think we will go and start on the larger of the two field 35 the soybean field which is uh, out down here on our right. We'll head down and do that first, and then we'll head down to field 10, the other cornfield, and get that one done. And that will be the end of all our spraying, which will, uh, it's good to get it all done in one go. And obviously while the weather is nice and fine, and good conditions for spraying. So we'll see you down at field 35. down here to field 35 I'm just going to turn those flashes off we had them on while we were on the back of the truck just to improve our visibility so probably wasn't the best place actually to come into this field with the truck there's not a huge amount of space here took a little bit of maneuvering to get it lined up in a position where we could get to the pump and get the sprayer filled up but we've done that now so uh, we will just come around here get this all unfolded and start on doing a headland pass and once we've done that we'll obviously be able to make a start on the up and down rows so we will get into it and uh, put together a little bit of a montage which will probably encompass this field and the corn field and uh, we'll catch you once those are both done just uh, make sure I've reset my area calculator there there we go Right, right, we'll uh, carry on and catch you when we've finished all our spraying.
see we are we are all done with our spraying we didn't run out of spray either which was nice so we'll just get these booms all folded up everything loaded back onto the truck and head back down to the yard so we'll uh, meet you down there so we've made it back here to the yard and as you will have seen all our spraying is complete so uh, no more weeds which is great the trident did a fantastic job a little bit dirty as you would expect so we'll get that taken off there and uh, give it a good clean down and the spray trailer uh, does still have a little bit of herbicide in it they're about uh, three and a half thousand gallons and obviously a little bit more roundup sitting in there as well and that'll be liters three and a half thousand liters but all in all a successful day's spraying and uh, that sets us up really nicely to skip forward a few more days and get into some harvesting very very soon so i'll uh spend a little bit of time and get all this sorted up sorted out once we're finished but i think that will do it for this episode do hope you have enjoyed it thank you all very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one